Good morning everybody, it's Graham from Unearthed and I'm out detecting for the first time this year, 2019. It's had a decent, uh, a wispy signal, not the strongest of signals, but uh, down quite deep. Double, a double dig, if, that's, if that makes sense. The spade's gone down twice and it's just come up in the clod and there it is. Beehive thimble, medieval. It looks like it's squashed, unfortunately, yeah, it is. Uh, it's well damaged, but uh, that's my first, I've had two bits of lead and a shotgun shell, so that's my first half decent find of the year, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Well, I'm on a good field here, so um, although it is broken stubble, uh, the stubble's quite long in places, I'm hoping to get a few more bits and pieces, so I will post them up and uh, on social media and I'll do some more filming today if we get any more, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I've come off the stubble and onto this rough plough and I've just had my first, let me put my, put my spade down, first semi-decent find. This is a medieval knife handle. This is the middle section. This end here would have been the knife blade which would have been made of iron and the back part would have probably been bone or wood. So that's what that is. As you can see, it's medieval. This is the blade bit here, iron blade rotted off. Um, quite an unusual design on that one. Usually they have like a cross on them. Is it zoomorphic? Who knows? Anyway, that's uh, other than that, it's been extremely quiet. That's why I've ventured onto this rough stuff. I'm not a fan of rough plough, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So let's see if we can pull a few more bits and pieces up. Catch you in a little while. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, it's, a, it's the afternoon now. I've moved off the stubble and rough plough onto another field. Five minutes in. My first hammered of 2019. I don't know if you can see that. It actually looks like a half cut, but it's not. It's a broken hammered with a hole that sat, that sat in the side of it. It's an awful condition hammered, but it's a hammered. Um, Henry VIII, possibly. Is that Henry? Is that his crown there? Who knows? The backside of it is awful. Really badly worn. So, it's better than nothing, guys. Uh, Tudor coin, for sure. And what's interesting, if you can just stay with me for a split second... Well, I'll delve into my pockets a couple of steps earlier. Spoon handle, probably 18th century, I guess, with that design on the top, um, which is interesting. So, this is a, a relatively new field we're detecting on today. And lastly, the sh shards of this on the surface, which is green glaze, which is a really good sign. So, if you guys are out there and you're finding fragments of this on the surface like there is on this plough field today chances are you're going to get some pretty early stuff so I think off the top of my head 15th century green glaze it's a good sign so so stay tuned um, and I'll hope to post some more finds on this video okay see you in a bit hello everyone I'm back a uh, couple of what 15-20 minutes since I last spoke to you I just had this tiny little, I would say, Tudor stud. As you can see, it's a rose, Tudor rose possibly, flower. Little bronze stud. Nothing remarkable, but I thought I'd show you it. But what is interesting about this area that I'm detecting in at the moment is littered with oyster shells. Now, we are some miles away from the coast, so that's a good sign that the people have been on here eating as a habitation site nearby. The Romans loved oysters. The medieval folk would have eaten them as well. So it's a really good sign to keep your eyes peeled for this sort of thing. And eyes only find. On the top, I love finding oyster shells. And also, which is quite interesting, if you bear with me, this has come up. Which is a bone handle. You can see where the blade was here. Iron down the middle. That's actually bone. What age it is, who knows. Some of you guys may have a better answer. It's obviously uh, rotted away the iron, but that was lying right on the top. 
not too far away from where the oyster shells were. So I hope you find that of interest. I will film some more finds as they come up. I've got a good feeling about today, so let's hope uh, my feelings are right. I think something else will come out of this field before I finish tonight. So watch this space. Hi everyone, I'm back right at the end of the day. And I managed to winkle out a really poor condition bronze Roman coin. I don't know if you can see that. It's got some detail on the back, maybe a figure standing or an animal. Not very good. Not very, that is what you call a grot. Um, I, since I've, since I put the last uh, snippet on, I'd found copper coins, loads of buttons, this huge lump of bronze. It's not old. It's got a stamp on the bottom of there. It's got some markings on the top. God knows what it is. Junk. Modern junk. Do you know I've had a bad headphone day today? My headphones have been playing up, so I've changed them and I'm not happy with the sound quality in them set, so it's a bit of a strange day it's been. It's been hard work. You can just see the figure on that coin. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. I've had a hammered and and a, uh, this grotty Roman and a few more bits and pieces that you've seen earlier on. Sorry I couldn't find anything really special for you guys. Um, but that's the way it is. You've got to fish where the fish are, as they say. And uh, it's just not happening today for me. I've, I've felt a lot of frustration these last three hours. So, But here's to the next. We'll uh, Hopefully next week when we're out, we'll find some more bits and pieces and we'll do a short film on that. For now, Happy New Year and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Believe it or not, I'm back. Just as I said to you guys, I've had a frustrating day. A couple of minutes later, very iffy signal and the smallest, tiniest, broken little farthing has just come to light. So that's my second hammered of the day, second hammered of the year, just before I'd finished. The light's closing in, that's why this picture's pretty poor. I'm absolutely shattered because I've been up since five. It is now half past four gives you some idea of how long my days are in the field driving seven hour round trip is it worth it absolutely it might not be the best hammered but it's welcome second one of the day just as you guys thought about turning the film off you'll see it and hear me at the end saying i've had a bad day i fitted this little bit of a snippet in before that so ignore my glumness at the end that's just made my day a little hammered All's not lost. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I doubt I will be posting any more up today, but uh, that is welcome. It just shows you, I mean, this is an iron strewn field and that is a tiniest hammered. These G2 Plus machines are brilliant for finding small hammered in amongst the iron and that's why I use them with so much effect, I guess. Brilliant. Even though my headphones are crap today, not doing the job, playing up or whatever, I still managed to winkle that out. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. As you can see, it's dark. The focus is going. I'll let you go.